John Alukaru, is a Norwegian former professional footballer. He has been capped 91 times, scoring 24 goals for the Norwegian national team. His father is Gambian and his mother is Norwegian. He was born and raised in Norway. Club career, Bayern Leringer, Karu was born in Larin Skog, Akershus and began his career with his local club Larin Skog, a minor club in the Akershus region. He was already considered a highly talented youngster and had gained some media attention before he was acquired by Bayern Leringer in 1997, and in the same year Karu was a part of the team that gained promotion to Tipelagain and won the Norwegian Football Cup. During his two-year period at the club he played 33 matches and scored 14 goals, while his profile rose even more due to his combination of pace, strength and goal-scoring ability. Rosenborg, during the summer of 1999, Carew joined Norwegian football's most successful club of the past decade and Champions League mainstays Rosenborg in a deal worth Noka 25m. During his short spell at the club, Rosenborg proved to be a formidable team, of which finished first in their group in the UEFA Champions League, a campaign that included a memorable 0-3 away win against reigning champions Borussia Dortmund. Transfer moves around Europe after a string of impressive displays in the Champions League, Carew moved to Spanish club Valencia in an A8.5 million transfer, where he managed to win the La Liga title twice. Carew was part of the Valencia side that lost on penalties in the 2001 UEFA Champions League final, though he scored his own penalty attempt. His goals in the campaign were crucial, including a 75th-minute header in a 1-0-0 home win against Arsenal in the second leg of the quarter-final, which saw Valencia advance to the semi-final. In the 2002-03 Champions League campaign, Carew was once again responsible for Arsenal's exit from the competition. With Valencia needing a win in their final game of the second group phase at home against Arsenal to progress to the quarter-finals, Carew scored twice in a 2-0-1 victory. He then spent the 2003-04 season on loan at Italian side Roma where he scored seven goals in 26 games. Karu then moved to Turkey in 2004 to play with Benek Tai. After the 2004-05 season, he was snapped up by Lyon for a 7.6 million. While Karu was playing in Europe he was constantly linked with a move to the English Premiership and several failed attempts were made to sign him. He failed a medical at Fulham in 2002 and West Bromwich Albion had a bid rejected by Valencia. Aston Villa, 2006-07 season, on January 22, 2007, Carew signed for Aston Villa in an exchange deal with Lyon for Milan Baroa. Carew penned a three-and-a-half-year deal at the Birmingham-based club. Carew went on to receive the number 10 jersey left vacant by Baroa departure. Carew made his debut in the 3 Euro 1 defeat to Newcastle United, but went on to score his first goal for the club in a 1 Euro 0 victory against West Ham United just three days later. Villa manager Martin O'Neill praised Carew's performance after the match. 2007 Euro 08 season, Carew began the season as Villa's first choice forward and much was expected of him by the Villa fans. Unfortunately, despite some promising performances, it took Carew nearly two months to score his opener for the season against Everton in a 2-0 victory. He also suffered an injury in the same game and was out of action for six weeks with a hamstring problem. He scored on his second match back in the Villa side in a 3-0 away win against Middlesbrough in November. He then followed this up with a headed goal against Blackburn Rovers in a 4-0 victory as Aston Villa began to climb the Premiership table. December brought just one goal for Carew, a 30-yard run and shot against Manchester City, but he was instrumental in several of the goals Villa scored. Carew scored two goals against Reading on January 12 and was unlucky not to be awarded man of the match which went to Martin Lawson. He scored his first hat-trick for seven years and his first ever for Aston Villa against Newcastle United on February 9 in a 4 Euro 1 win. Gareth Barry allowed him to do so by kindly relinquishing his usual penalty-taking duties so Carew could score his third. On April 12, 2008, Carew scored for Aston Villa against Derby County at Pride Park in the Premier League, in the 26th minute and Villa went on to win the game 6-0.
On April 20, 2008, Carew scored twice against Birmingham City in the Birmingham Derby at Villa Park, which Villa went on to win 5 a Euro 1. He continued his scoring run with a header the following week, in a crunch game at Everton's Goodison Park, which finished 2 a Euro 2. It would be his 13th and final goal of the season, crowning him as Villa's top scorer for the 2007 a Euro 08 season. 2008 a Euro 09 season. Carew scored his first goal of the 2008 a Euro 09 campaign by scoring the first goal in Aston Villa's 2 a Euro 2 draw over Odense in the Intertoto Cup. On August 14, 2008, Carew signed a 12-month extension to his contract, thus taking him through to 2011 with his current deal. Carew scored the opening goal in Villa's 4 a Euro 2 win over Manchester City at Villa Park. He then scored his second league goal against Stoke City as they went on to lose the match 3 a Euro 2 when Mamadi Saidib scored a late winner. He quickly added his third of the season in the 2 a Euro 1 defeat of local rivals West Bromwich Albion. And with Gabriel Agbonay on the score sheet again the pair began to form a formidable partnership. They both scored again and assisted each other's goals in a 4 a Euro 0 victory in the Premier League at Wigan Athletic on October 26, 2008. Carew scored the winning goal in the UEFA Cup for Villa in a Group F match away to Slavia Prague on November 6, 2008. Villa midfielder Steve Sidgwell struck the ball towards goal but it hit Carew and went in, therefore the goal was credited to Carew. It turned out to be the winning goal and continued Villa's 100% record in the competition's group stages and the 1 Euro 0 victory saw Villa go to the top of the group. Carew made the headlines in late October due to his personal behaviour. He was fined two weeks' wages by Martin O'Neill for being in a pub near a Birmingham lap dancing club the night before Villa's UEFA Cup group stage match with Ajax. Soon after the controversy, Carew sustained a back injury that kept him out of the side for several months. During this time, Villa boss Martin O'Neill signed England international striker Emil Heskey to fill the gap left by Carew's absence. Heskey appeared to have taken Carew's place in the starting lineup for a number of weeks. However, his own injury woes and Carew's good form on return have meant that the Norwegian has regained his place in the side. Carew played his first game after his injury on January 31, 2009 in a goalless draw with Wigan Athletic. In the last 32 of the UEFA Cup, Carew earned Villa a first-leg draw with CSKA Moscow, after going 1-0-0 down to Wagner Love's goal. On March 1, 2009, Carew came off the bench to score a lob shot volley in the 2-0-2 draw against Stoke City in the Premier League which was later voted the team's goal of the season. He scored an equalising goal in the away fixture against Manchester United at Old Trafford before also netting the first goal in the home tie against Everton as Villa fought back from 2 a Euro 0 and 3 a Euro 1 down to draw 3 a Euro 3. Further goals against Hull City and Middlesbrough took his league total to an impressive 11 goals from just 25 appearances. 2009 a Euro 10 season Due to the persistence of fellow strikers Heskey and Agbonea, Carew initially struggled to hold down a regular spot in the starting eleven at the beginning of the 2009 Euro 10 campaign. Nevertheless, while being used as a substitute Carew still managed to score several important goals for Aston Villa. On March 7, 2010, manager Martin O'Neill chose to include Carew in the starting eleven in an FA Cup game against Reading. He took the opportunity characteristically and scored a hat-trick as Aston Villa came from two goals behind to defeat Reading for a Euro 2 in the FA Cup quarter-final. This made Carew the competition's top-scoring striker, raising questions as to why the Norwegian was rarely included in Villa's starting eleven. Carew began to feature in the Villa team once more as the season progressed. Goals against Wolverhampton Wanderers Sunderland and Chelsea helped the Norwegian go neck and neck with Gabriel Agbonea as the club's joint top scorers for 2009 Euro 10. 2010 Euro 11 season. Due to an injury to Gabriel Agbonea, Carew started the new campaign up front with support from Ashley Young. However, due to both injury concerns of his own and a loss of form, his place in the team was taken by Emil Heskey, limiting him to cameo appearances from the bench. As the season progressed, Carew's first team appearances became less frequent. 
Later that month, he allegedly missed a Villa game due to heavy snow disrupting his travel. Carew spoke out about his limited chances under the new system under manager Gar copyright Rad Hulia to a Norwegian TV station. Despite ongoing rumours in the press about a dispute between the former Lion pair, Hulia revealed that Carew had been left out of the Aston Villa squad to work on his fitness. However when Villa signed Darren Bent for a £18 million, Carew's first team opportunities were further reduced. On May 27, 2011, Aston Villa announced that Carew was one of a number of players released by the club after their contracts expired. Stoke City Loan Carew joined Stoke City on loan until the end of the 2010 Euro 11 season on January 21, 2011. Following his move Carew stated that he was looking forward to a new challenge and also revealed that he rejected offers from other clubs. His arrival has been welcomed by the Stoke players including Andy Wilkinson. I'm looking forward to the challenge and I'm happy to be here. Although I had other offers, I saw Stoke as the best team and the strongest team, so this is a great chance for me to join a side fighting in the top half of the table. The important thing now is to make the most of this opportunity. Carew made his debut for City the following day at Fulham where he came on as a substitute. He scored his first goal for Stoke in a 3 Euro 2 win against Sunderland on February 5, 2011. He followed this up by scoring in the FA Cup against Brighton and Hove Albion. However a back injury slowed his progress in a Stoke shirt. After his release from Villa, it is unlikely that Tony Pulis will offer Carew a contract with Stoke. West Ham United on August 6, 2011 Football League Championship side West Ham United announced the signing of Carew as a free agent. He scored his first goal for West Ham in a 2 Euro 2 draw with Crystal Palace on October 1, 2011. On May 23, 2012, Carew was released with five other players including Julian Forbert, Frank Nubbel, Papa Bauba Diop, Abdoulaye Faye and Oliver Lee. After the 2011 Euro 12 season, Carew did not get a new contract with West Ham. In August 2012, Carew was in talks with his old club Vajen Leringa, but Vajen Leringa did not accept his demand of a wage of Noka 600,000 per match. In connection with Carew's possible transfer to Vajen Leringa, Xtil Siam told Dake Bledic that he had signed an unofficial contract with Carew in 2005, when Siam was director of football in Vajen Leringa that Carew would return to Vajen Leringa in 2012. He went on trial with Serie A team Internazionale in February 2013, but was not offered a contract as Inter were concerned over his fitness. In October 2013 Carew stated that he had retired. International career John Carew has played 91 times for Norway, scoring 24 goals, and was part of their Euro 2000 squad. He made his full international debut on November 18, 1998, and though not unusual now, he was the first black player to represent Norway. International goals International statistics, source Honours, club, Vajen Leringa, Norwegian Football Cup, 1997, Rosenborg, Norwegian Premier League, 1999, Valencia, La Liga, 2001 Euro 02, Champions League Runner-up 2001, Supercopa de Hispana, Runner-up 2002, Lion, Ligue 1, 2005 Euro 06, Trofair Copyright E-Day Champions, 2006, Aston Villa, League Cup, Runner-up 2009 Euro 10, Stog City, FA Cup Runner-up, 2010 Euro 11, West Ham United, Football League Championship Playoffs, 2011 Euro 12, Individual. Nixon of the Year. 2005, 2007, 2008, FA Cup top goalscorer 2009 a Euro 10, Personal Life, John Carew has a son born in 2004 who lives with his mother in Norway. Carew is noted for being a practicing Christian and often makes donations to charity. He also contributes to organizations like Soccer Against Crime. Mo and under Mo Vold and was awarded the Nixon Award as Nixon of the Year in both 2005 and 2007. Since joining Aston Villa, Carew is noted for visiting children in hospitals around Birmingham and supporting Villa's initiative to donate from the payroll towards hospital running costs. Carew's sister, Elizabeth, 
is an NB singer. She released her debut album, Destructive, in 2008. She is competing in Melody Grand Prix 2014 with her song Soul Survivor. In December 2010 Carew was a victim of fraud after he paid a £100,000 for a Porsche Cayenne Jambala which never arrived. In 2012 Carew was declared bankrupt following a petition by HM Revenue and Customs. The bankruptcy order was annulled on July 4, 2012. He has a tattoo which says in French my life, my menstruation instead of my life, my rules. References External links John Carew career stats at Soxabase, BBC News a Euro Carew sent home, Afton Posson a Euro Carew's career keeps rolling, Afton Posson a Euro Rye is looking forward to seeing Carew, Premier League profile.